ready when you are. It took me fucking ten minutes to download this, then I had the dashboard just to set it up again, and then it wouldn't let me click live play, so I had the dashboard again, open it again. Of course I'm fucking ready. Vagina slot. This is it? That sounds like a question. This is it? No, it looks like a fucking VHS player. Please welcome Yusuf Mehdi to show some of the new experiences you'll find only on Xbox One. Such as games, TV and movies, and music. Xbox 360, Netflix, Spotify. Xbox, go home. You're drunk. Now that you've seen the start screen and home experience, let's do what millions of people do every day when they turn on their TV. Guess what? They watch porn. It sounds simple and obvious, and it should be, but today it isn't because of the need to change inputs to get to the D. All that is going to change with Xbox One. Let me show you. Xbox, watch TV. And with that simple command, I'm watching live TV. And with that simple command, I just turn my TV on. Now here in Seattle, I'm a Comcast subscriber, so this is the programming available in my area. Nice advertising scheme for Comcock. So right now I'm watching Star Trek, and I've heard great things about the sequel, Star Trek Into Darkness. Nice advert scheme for Star Trek. Yep, I've never seen these things before. It's a first for Xbox One. Let's take a look at Skype in snap mode. Let, let's not show it, because we all know what happened when Windows overtook Skype. Yeah, it wasn't... no. That's great. Just make sure when you get to fantasy, you show the real version. You know, the one where I'm in first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skype in call. <laughs> Xbox favorites. No, 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 let's not do that. Understanding the slightest rotation of a wrist or a shoulder. I don't look like Super Meat Boy. What the f Some people were hoping gameplay, but instead they give cinematic bullshit porn of Titanic crashing into a bridge. No, we're not going to get gameplay, we're going to get porn. Which is just completely useless and doesn't help anyone, and doesn't pl it pleases you while you're watching it. But as soon as you're over, well, what's the point? You're here for the gameplay. Transform Television, please welcome the head of Xbox Entertainment Studios, Nancy Tellum. Nancy, tell him who. Who are you telling, Nancy? Xbox is about to become the next water cooler. What? Please welcome my friend and head of 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Finally, I can get my Halo boner going. Oh, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get some amazing gameplay. We're gonna get some new game ideas for the next Halo 5. Maybe making a remake of Halo 2. I'm thrilled to announce a live action Halo television series. Opportunity is. Well, when we look for partners, we look for the best. Every corner and every feature, the principles we followed were to be simple, instant, and complete. What? You're partnering with EA. EA are going to bring our Star Wars game soon. Oh, that's going to be good. Star Wars Battlefront 3, maybe? Oh, don't worry, they'll put DLC in to actually complete the game, like a £20, $20 lightsaber that does fuck all. It's going to be an always online game as well, so you can't play single player. It won't exist. There will only be multiplayer on really terrible servers that you have to pay for. Fantastic. I am the last human speed bump standing between you and seeing the world premiere of the next generation of Call of Duty up on that screen in a couple of minutes. So knowing my audience as I do, I'm going to try to get to it as fast as possible. No, please, take your time. I think everyone was expecting us to play it safe this year and simply make Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. But we didn't want to do the safe thing. We wanted to do the right thing. And that meant eliminating as many creative... Eliminating your whole entire game franchise and everyone that works for you so that we don't have to play your pieces of con constant recycled shit over and over and over again every year and while you earn tons of money. 
Na? Iconic studio, Infinity Ward, capturing the creative process as the vision for this game has unfolded. And we wanted you to be the first to go behind the scenes and take a look at what they've been up to. Here at Infinity Ward, we've had a great time crafting the benchmark of the modern day shooter on Courage. Three, and we're really four, excited five, that we get to be the studio five, that brings Call of Duty into the next generation. We have a whole new story with brand new characters, completely new world. And this is powered by a new next gen engine that gives us amazing graphic fidelity and really innovative new ways to play. You are actually the underdog fighting back against these superior forces. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a previous Call of Duty game. One of the fascinating new additions to your squad is a dog. Oh, cool. Call of Duty Pet Simulator. Call of Duty Nintendogs. We've had dogs in Call of Duty before, but never like this. This is someone you care about. I'm gonna fucking kill it. We have a new tech in the game, Sub D. The idea is, is the closer you get to it, the more it tries to maintain any curvature that you see. This sounds like a penis. In feature which allows you to lean out and lean in and get a better view of the battlefield. Which pretty much every shooter game has done on the PC for god knows how many fucking years. Whoop de doo. Dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. Praise the Lord, we have feeding frenzy in Call of Duty. Fish move out the way. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. It's like being in China, everyone and everything looks the same. We have the best fans in the world. Correction, you have the youngest fans in the world, like to stick their dick in every disc of Call of Duty they get to play the recycled shit that you give out. There you go. Character's arms are one of the most looked at visual elements. The arms in MW3 were beautiful at the time but the new engine allows for significantly increased texture resolution. This advancement in technology allows us to convey fine hairs, bruising, cuts, and even the dirt beneath the fingernails. I'm sorry, but nothing these people are saying make any sense. Oh, whoop de doo I can now see the nail dirt under my nails. I can see if I need a pedicure. I can see the hair on my arms, see if I can masturbate over it. You've had this, you've had this engine on PC to be able to do this for years. You've been waiting for your Xbox fanboys to wank you off a bit more, to put some dirt under their nails and a bit of cuts down their arms. Oh. Here's an example of a jungle environment from Modern Warfare 3. And here is a cup of my care. It's empty. I don't care. Now, here's a jungle environment from Ghosts. This scene employs many new tech features, including volumetric lighting, boosted poly count, and self-casting shadows. I'm pretty sure even mods for games like Minecraft can do all that shit, and they could have done it for the past couple of years. You're so fucking behind in your game schedule and game technology that you just keep recycling shit, and you're years late. No one cares if you can see the shadow of my dick on the floor. Don't fucking applaud him! I'm so done. Fuck, fuck this. This was a shit reveal. There was only a few good parts to it. I didn't mention any of them because so much of the bad shit just overflowed it. I can't wait for E3 to see if there's actually any games. I'm pretty sure the Wii U is going to spam out more games than the Xbox. Which is going to make people want to go play the Wii and masturbate it to more with the Wii remotes. Stick it up their fucking arse or maybe they go back to the PS3 and play the move with their fucking tits. This has been Dan and I've reviewed the Xbox One and Call of Duty Gaspers Casper's Castle with Dog Simulator and Feeding Frenzy included. Apart from all of that, I'm pretty excited to see what Xbox can actually do uh, with some games and how much of gameplay rather than just cinematics. I've already got my fucking TV, I've got music, and I've got movies, so show something good at E3. Ciao, and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. We do pranks and everything, so. Peace. Really fucking pisses me off. The people are doing this shit, right? Yeah, I pay permission to send me two fucking warning because I muted them because they wind no, up. It's my new one. Oh, 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 oh,